All right, you guys, a couple of my friends and family wanted to see what I'm eating. They enjoy having food at the house, so they said, you might as well record it. So here I am. I'm going to be making yellowtail shrimp spring roll. Here are the ingredients that I'm using. Rice paper. That's uh, what I'm using today. The fish sauce got this from SF Market or in San Diego's uh, Tan Fat market, market basically a Vietnamese uh, market here's the shrimp I'm gonna be using and of course we got the yellowtail that I'm gonna be using uh, I already lightly salted it just a little sprinkle of some salt and I'm gonna saute that in a moment I'm using cucumber, lettuce, you can use red leaf or any type of lettuce, whichever you prefer. This herb right here is the Asian coriander. I don't know what it, else it's called. Um, I'm also using green leaf onion. Putting two pieces of Thai pepper, I like my dip with a little bit of kick, and I am also using three pieces of garlic. So again, these are the ingredients that I would be using to make my yellowtail shrimp spring roll. All right, you guys. So basically, of course, you got to clean your food, and uh, we're just going to put it on a strainer so that way it can strain all the water. Um, as far as the cucumber I cut it in about two inches that way when you roll it onto the rolls it won't be too big or too small so this is the way I cut mine I kind of just keep half uh, cutting it in half and half just basically thin cuts you know kind of like that and then onions same thing a good two inches two to three inches you know um, that way it, it goes hand in hand with the uh, size of the cucumber so I just cut it in half like this some people don't really eat too much of the green onion uh, but you know it's good for you kind of help with the flavor uh, so that's how you cut that then garlic is really simple you're just gonna smash it and then just kind of dice it up make sure you don't get your hand there so that's how I cut my garlic and then as far as uh, the pepper same thing just kind of finally dice it up chop it up but these two are going to go right into the uh, fish sauce. Give it a little bit more kick and then uh, the garlic brings up the flavor. Uh, that's about it on the vegetable. Again, we got this uh, fish sauce from uh, one of the Vietnamese market. Uh, just going to put that in with the garlic and Thai pepper. Mix it all up and then just put it aside. So you're done with your dip, your spring roll dip. Alright, so now it's time to go ahead and uh, pan fry the uh, yellowtail. Putting a little bit of olive oil here, it's just a little splash so it won't stick to the pan. Um, you can grill it, you can fry it, do whatever you want with your your meat, your, your fish, um, just as long as it's cooked and uh, cool it down and put it into the spring roll. So again, some people use different ty types of fish like tilapia or striped bass or you know, just just some type of game fish it would be really good for, um, for the spring roll, that's what I prefer. Um, aside from that, you can use pork belly, you can use chicken, like on my lazy day, I'll go to get 
a, a rotisserie chicken um, at the market and just boom bring it here break it apart put it into the spring roll and just eat it that way and that's also good so here we are we're just gonna go ahead and toss the yellowtail on there and uh, let it cook about five minutes on each side or or until it's completely cooked but these small fillets I think uh, it shouldn't take that long to cook I didn't put it on too high over heat, just like a good number six or seven. Just let it do its thing, you know. The next thing to do is to go ahead and cook up the shrimp. So once you bring the water to a boil, you know, just toss the shrimp in there. Stir it around. In a few minutes it's gonna turn orange or red and once it's turned red you want to just go ahead and rinse it into uh, cold water or just toss it in ice and just put it to the side okay so the shrimp is uh, at a boil so now you're gonna do, just go ahead and take it to cold water Just kind of, you know, mix the cold water into it. Let it get cold so that way you can peel off the uh, the shell. Oops. That's still a good piece. Yeah, that way uh, when you peel the shell, it doesn't it doesn't burn your hand. But at the same time, this helps the shrimp from overcooking it just stops the cooking process which makes the shrimp taste really fresh so that's why we do it like that and you just peel it peel the shell like this some people would cut this in half but I love my shrimps like that so we're not gonna cut that in half we're just gonna put it whole and then wrap it into the spring roll just like that Okay, so we're back here. Uh, everything is completed. Shrimp, the dip, yellowtail, the vegetable. This is uh, almost boiled water. Still got to be careful because it's hot. So you're going to take the rice wrap right here. I normally don't even put my finger in there. I just go like this. Kind of just like that. And then get everything all soaked up. Then you bring it out. And then I'll put it here to the plate. I'll leave a little edge, let it hang at the edge right here. Why? Because that way I can roll the, the spring roll easier. So I'm just gonna grab, you know, a little bit of vegetable here, some cucumber, red leaf lettuce, onion leaf, some herbs. Again, some people would use mint, some people would have a bean sprout for their spring roll. So it's kind of diverse. It's up to you what you want to do with your spring roll, you know. So I'll grab a piece of uh, yellowtail here. And then, since I love shrimps, I'm going to have two. And now, it's probably going to be a pretty ugly roll, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's all about getting it rolled up, toss it into the dip and eat it. And some people would put um, rice noodles in here, uh, but I'm kind of on a low carb diet right now, so trying not to eat too much uh, carb. Dip it, it's gonna be a little spicy here, added that Thai pepper. 
Mmm. That's bomb. Give it a try. Thanks again for viewing my YouTube channel. I hope you guys like it. Spread the word. If you guys like my videos, let me know. Maybe I can create more. Other than that, have a good one. Peace out.